Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Final Fantasy X-2. Now, last time we left off, we cleaned up the Thunder Plains of some fiends, got some treasure, and now we're about to check out the 10th tower. Let's go. Oh, big, mean behemoth. Yuna! Bring it! <laughs> Beef steak. Alright, for beef steak here, I mean. What is it called? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. A hambaba. For hambaba here. Not a very challenging battle, just. Hit him with all you got. Oh, uh, yeah, he does like to cast um, Mighty Guard, but it's not a problem. We can actually take care of that Mighty Guard with a Stash Dispel Tonic. Look at that Mighty Guard. Look how much stuff he just got along with it. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Uh, shell, Protect, Regen, Haste, Attack up, Magic up, Defense up, Magic Defense up, Hit, Accuracy up, Evasion up. So everything up. That's actually really cool. I wish I could have a Mighty Guard like that. Okay, we can dispel some of that. And... Oh, I guess I can't dispel his um, stat increases, but... At least I dispelled his protection shell, and haste, and all the other... region. <laughs> That's not nice. So using an alchemist, we can keep us healthy. My suffering mirrors yours. And with Dark Knight and Lady Luck, we're just attacking him. And remember what I said earlier about earlier about chaining. So when you see the two dice go off here, and as soon as it starts hitting, you want to go and attack. As you can see, your third attack, um, there with a chain, or the second attack rather with a chain, and it is significantly more damage than if you would just use it on itself. Let's see if I can chain this one too. Yes, I can chain it in 12 hits. Ha! <laughs> quite a bit quite a bit of HP this guy has. Really tough beefsteak. I'm full of surprises. Really tough. Someone must have overcooked him. <laughs> Die already. Oh, he's using Thundaga now. Let's chain up this attack. Go. Oh. He's using Mighty Guard again. Boo. Let's take care of that. Dispel Tonic. Nice. Yeah, when you roll two of the same numbers, unless it's like two ones, uh, you get double damage. If it's two ones, you get 20 times damage, which is amazing. <laughs> Alright, there goes his Protect Shell Haste and Regen. And he's down. Is he going to try to throw a meteor at me? I think he is. Yep. Don't worry. If you're healthy, it won't kill you. It's, just, it's like a percentage of your HP damage kind of thing. Alright, so by killing Hambaba, our big piece of steak, we get... A mission complete. Chunk of experience, and we score one of the coolest armor grids in this game, the Valiant Luster. We're definitely going to be making use of this armor grid later on. In fact, we can make use of it right now. 
TV, Lord Raduf and Wilad. Ranakik Nikaruma. He says there's another hole by the tower. Think it's connected to the others? I don't think there's a faith here. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Eludiga, we do Draruma. We going in? Uh yes, uh -huh. let's go. <laughs> Riku is upset, but we need to go. Okay, so this is this place is really weird. First up, let's take a look at our new garment grid. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's up here actually. Valiant Luster, look at that. When you equip it, you get defense and magic defense plus 20. And by passing through each gate, you get 20 more defense. Slash magic defense. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's get this drug theory ready right now. So we want Alchemist in the middle. Let's put a Dark Knight up in here. Uh, Lady Luck. Really good. Psychic is good. And let's... Um, let's put a Thief, why not? And since Pain is mainly defensive right now, let's just equip it with... Yeah, Valiant Luster is a good upgrade too. All right, everything looks good. Let's proceed into this cave. Yeah, so this cave is like, or dungeon, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of interesting. Um, there's going to be a little thing we can do in here later on, which I will show, but I won't show all of it. Uh, and um, once you get the episode complete in this place, you don't need, you don't need to come back, but. It would still be nice if you do come back because you can get a really cool uh, accessory plus a, another garment grid. So yeah. These guys are fast. Oh man, look at that. Built for speed. Okay, there we go. All right. So they give a pretty good chunk of experience. By just killing the Othra, you got 1600, which is almost as much as that boss. <laughs> so you want to f uh, follow those pink squares on the minimap right now to head for that red arrow. To heal up real quick. All right. Yeah, this place might look kind of pointless right now, but there is a point to these really long hallways. <laughs> oh wow! This is your lucky day. Different colored machina. Cool. I mean, not like can make any difference. They get destroyed the same way. My pain be my blade. Just love darkness. Such a good skill. There we go. Uh, long hallway. You can put on a charm bangle if you want. No one's gonna judge you. <laughs> so I pretty much don't need to show you the rest of like walking towards the red arrow. Just follow those pink squares on the map and you'll get there. And I'll see you there. Pedron! Okay, we're here. Howdy! Howdy? What howdy? What the heck are you doing? I found a hole, so I decided to explore it. Call it curiosity. <laughs> but this place is swarming with fiends. I, uh, can't get out. A machina really considered fiends. Pop a favor and show them the way out of here. Uh, ow! Oh! Ow! 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 Must have pulled something. Oh, you are so lame. Who's gonna? Kill
carry him. Hey, let a man keep his pride. Got a better idea? Well, how about this? <laughs> Make your old man proud and scrap that thing. Of course, there is a boss battle. All right. So this thing loves to uh, scramble your commands, as in it, it disables some commands once in a while, which is really lame. But we can just take out these little guys, and he'll he'll he stop doing that. Hey, look what I found! I can't even heal right now. Boo! Oh, I can't watch. Let's just attack. Darkness. Um, yeah, this is actually the same guy that we fought a while ago back in the Fiend Arena. One of the tournaments. But except he didn't come with those little things floating. Meh, just as easy. <laughs> wow. That is so weak. This had better be worth it. Alright, 2.5k. Hey, look what I found. Let's see how much I can do with a normal attack. Oh, I can't watch. 1.5. Approximately 1.5. And let's see how much it does when it's chained. 2.6, not bad, not bad. Let's just use regular attacks on it. Big money, big money. <laughs> just attacking it out right now. Ray, Ray, that thing again. Oh, that actually hit Riku for quite a bit. Getting nervous? Oh, look at that. Always on the Snake eyes times 20 damage. Keep down. Whoa, a lot of experience, a lot of money, and a crystal bangle. Cool. Yeah, he came Draka Joe Kino with of Luna. Um, you're welcome aboard our airship. Vitran, if we feed Utra Crab, you must walk. What did I just read? I read blah 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 Sid what pudding. have put each other through a lot <laughs> over the years. Not even Riku knows what caused their final falling out. Still, there's something nice about the whole thing. If only I could have talked like this with my father. Or you. With yours. All right, that's it. Episode complete. And get another Arbite Primer. Cool. Back to the airship. So, as you can see, Sid is up on the uh, deck of the airship. Let's have a little chat with him, shall we? 
We're going to the deck. Hey, Uncle. Shameful how they gushing this baby up. Their kitchen paint job. <laughs> Just who does he take after anyway? <laughs> kitchen paint job. Oh, that's great. Alright, so once you've viewed that scene, come back to the bridge and let's have a chat with Sid. <laughs> oh, Sid. Just let your children be. Made up your mind. Oh, no. I don't want to do that just yet. Okay. Um, from now on, you can find Sid in our airship's engine room. So, just to show you. Go to the engine room. Engine room and hop. Voila, there he is. This engine ain't half bad. Oh, yeah, even you have to admit it's a beauty. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the bridge. And how uh, have ourselves a quick save. save often and save in multiple save files just in case you mess something up all right we're not quite done in the thunder planes yet so let's hop back down there remember we did thunder planes because I said that it is the best place to catch chocobos um, keep that in the back of your head because we're not gonna do that just yet so let's head back to the thunder planes Okay, it is at this point where you may want to equip a uh, charm bangle. Actually, I highly, highly recommend. Like, I cannot recommend it this more highly. Equip the charm bangle. Please do it. I mean, you don't have to do it like at, right at this moment, but you might as well. <laughs> Just do it right now. But trust me. It will make your life like a billion times easier. At least as far as the next part goes. <laughs> but if you want a big challenge, don't equip the Charm Bangle and see what happens. Oh man. You're gonna have yourself a blast. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're heading right now to a mini game that you can play in the uh, in that same place where we rescued Sid. This mini game involves some math. And it involves some um, memorization, but there's really no memorization if you just write things down on paper or type it out on a computer or something. So, let's head back there. I'm gonna get a piece of paper out because... I'm gonna need it. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, uh, speak to this dude. He says he can take you back to the hole, and you say yes. Let's go. All right, they're gonna give you a quick little tutorial, and um, as you can see right now, you can see some numbers on the top left and bottom right of the screen. Now, forgive me, I'm gonna have to look at this tutorial because. I don't even remember how to do this game, but um, what you want to do is you see the um, uh, the yellow number on the bottom right hand side of my screen. So for me, it's going to be a three. For me, is uh, for you, it's it might be different. 
write that number down and you might as well write that nine down as well so whatever two numbers you see um, on the bottom right just write those down right now okay now open one of these chests and this is gonna be a tutorial okay so, blah, blah, blah. so top left is going to be the current walls number and another key the bottom right is going to be the number of the next wall to open and key number two all right so you need to remember or write down these numbers uh, when you examine the next wall that needs to be open, you'll be prompted to open if you put the sum of the key number one and key number two. You need the sum of the key number one and key number two. Okay, I got it. Okay, I think I remember this. On sequence only, that number will be displayed. Key number one, there's key number two. Okay, I guess you don't really have to write down the yellow number. You just have to write down the, uh, the white number that appears under it. Two for wall three is 15, inputting will open the wall. <laughs> yeah, and that's why we equip Charm Bengal. We eliminate two variables, the number of battles we fought and the number of gil and experience that you earned. So always, always have that Charm Bengal. Uh, yeah, let's just view the tutorial. So the first thing we see is a yellow three, which means the gate the wall and the 9 which is the key number so the key number is 9 and we need to open wall 3 right you can use the mini map all right so right now we'll be taken to the next wall I think I'm starting to remember this now <laughs> all right examine the wall the number below the wall in the top left corner is key number one for the current wall uh, so the key number one for wall three is seven. You want to write that seven down. I don't know if it's different for you, but you want to write it down. And it will also help if um, you put like a wall number next to it. So for me, I, I just write um, wall number three and I put a colon and I put seven, right? And earlier we saw that the key number two for wall three is nine because it was it appeared in the lower right hand corner right so what I wrote down right right now would be three colon nine and then I add plus seven that's what I wrote down on paper like physically so we need to enter 16 and now you want to take note of um, what's on the bottom right hand uh, corner so what I'm gonna write down is 10 colon 4 right 10 colon 4 for now um, press enter. So this one will open. And you can take a chest. One of the chests will be empty, the other one will give you a helping hand or, or some kind of a, a bonus for you. Okay, so just to show you guys how this works, I'm going to go to the next wall and after that, uh, you guys can figure it out yourself. Now keep in mind that later on, some of the number combinations are going to be very different. For example, another a, a wall might ask you like to add uh, the the result for wall number three plus the result for no wall number like fourteen or something like that. So make sure you write down the wall numbers as well as all the um, of the key numbers. So and there will be chests in this place. Oh, diamond gloves, cool. All right, so we're on this next wall here. Press X. All right. Earlier on, we saw in the lower right hand corner a ten, uh, wall number ten, and we saw the number four. So what I wrote down was again ten colon four. Now you can see on your upper left, ten second key code is eighty two. So what I'm going to do is after the ten colon four, I'm going to write plus eighty two, and I'm going to write equals eighty six. Right. Now what I'm also going to write down is what's on the lower right hand corner eleven colon 23 okay we'll save that for the next wall and now since we entered an 80 uh, we got an 86 by adding 4 and 82 the uh, passcode for this wall particular wall will be 86 now it's going to be completely different for you so do not use the same number as me instead just follow my example let's do one more just to make sure that we have everything we need 
that chest is empty. Good. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Alright, so when you open a chest, you have a chance of having the next uh, wall open, like, immediately without you having to enter a code. This does not mean you should neglect these numbers right now. You see what these numbers right now? It says for, for um, wall number 11, the code was 462. So what we just wrote down was 11 colon 23. We're gonna, we're gonna cross out that 23 and we replace it with 462. Got it? Because that was the code for, the, for that wall. Now on the lower right, we now see wall number five and, and the key code number one is wall 10's code. Earlier, we discovered that wall 10's code was 86. So we put down 86. And yes, we will do one more. Um, by the way, you can get another key item in this place that um, gives you another limit break for a special dress sphere. If you find it, awesome. If you don't, <laughs> pay no mind to it. Unless you really love those special dress spheres. I mean, <laughs> in that case, look for it by all means. Okay, so that's not it's not here. not here yeah look for that red arrow this is this is a pretty long process actually but don't worry we will be generously rewarded for doing this but uh, no completion completion percentages just to get that clear right now if you don't want to do it don't do it all you'll be getting is a garment grid and an accessory Okay, so this is where the wall opened earlier. Let's just open a chest. What do we get? Oh man, I'm lucky. Okay. So you might be not as lucky as me, obviously. Um, you might not get these bingo uh, where the wall opens for you instantly. But keep in mind the tips I give, I've given you. Equip the charm bangle. Write down the wall, wall uh, number, first of all. And then write down the two key codes for the wall. Add them together and you get the... You get the um, number you need to open that wall um, I am going to end this episode off right now and at the beginning of the next episode I'll either show you guys the location of um, some of the items in this place or I'm going to I'm just gonna fast forward right to the end where we got our reward thank you very much guys for watching this episode of Final Fantasy 10 2 I will see you in the next episode stay tuned <laughs>